What's up YouTube? I am finally here. Big Chinos in the building ready to get down on this clean video. However, today I will be known as Big Cleanos. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Since this is my first cleaning video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Vic, what you think? It needs work, little brother. Today, guys, we have a pair of New Balance 2002 Refined Futures, also known as the Protection Pack, in the rain cloud colorway. Pretty cooked, but nothing I can't take care of for sure. Let's get to it. We are gonna be using the Rejuvenator Signature Cleaning Kit that includes a patented launch system. However, these might not need to go into the wash. We're gonna see how they come out after we take care of the pre-treatment in the cleaning process. Now, let's get our cleaning station set up. First, we have a four ounce solution, soft, medium, and stiff brush, microfiber towel, laundry bag, shoe trees, laundry pods, cleaning mat, and lastly, our dry rack combo. All these products are available on rejuvenator.com Hit the link in the description to save 10%. Now, the moment we've been finally waiting for, let's clean these shoes. For before and after purposes, I'm gonna set the left shoe aside. We're gonna start off this cleaning by taking out the laces and inserting the adjustable shoe tree. Look at all that dust. Now, we're gonna grab a four ounce solution, squirt a couple squirts in our water. Now, we're gonna head over to Manual Rolls. We're gonna use the air compressor gun to pretty much loosen up the dirt, take off that surface dust. So, during the pre-treatment process, we're not pushing any more dirt into the mesh and the suede. Let's head to the shop. Let's get into it. YouTube, I'll tell you one thing. The air compressor definitely did its thing. It was able to loosen up the surface dust and the dirt. Now, let's get into the cleaning pre-treatment. Usually during Shoe Care Academy cleaning videos, they take care of the uppers and the soles. However, for today's video, we are doing it in reverse. The main reason why we're doing the cleaning process in reverse is because if I take care of the uppers first and then go tackle the soles, there's a slight chance that dirty water might leak onto the uppers. So to avoid that, we're gonna take care of the soles first using our stiff bristle brush. The outsoles are done guys. Now let's get into the midsole using our medium bristle brush. Aside from taking care of metals, this medium bristle brush can take care of upper materials such as basic leather, new buck, mesh, canvas. You're definitely gonna wanna avoid using this brush on delicate materials such as this nice fuzzy suede right here. All right guys, wrapping up the midsole now. Now that that's done, I'm gonna grab our soft bristle brush. I'm gonna take care of this delicate suede, as well as this mesh. If I'm not satisfied with how the mesh looks after a few pass overs of the soft, I'm gonna grab our medium brush again, hit it a couple more times, and that should be wraps. Well guys, that pretty much wraps up the pre-treatment cleaning process. Honestly, they came out really good. For that reason being, we are not gonna be utilizing our patented launch system, so well, boom. All we have left is to clean up the laces and take this wet shoe over to Many Worlds where we're gonna place it on our drying rack. Let's go.
We're back guys. We have let the shoe completely dry overnight. Now we just have a couple more steps before the cleaning process is entirely done. For this portion, we are gonna be using the dry suede kit. In this kit, I will be using the dry suede brush to reset the entire upper suede. If I see any leftover stain spots, I am gonna be going over and hitting that with the dry suede eraser. And that should pretty much wrap up the job. Let's get to it. When using the dry suede brush, you're going to want to apply light pressure on the suede to not damage any material, as well as brush in all directions in order to bring back its true texture. As mentioned before guys, we're going to take our rejuvenator dry suede eraser and go over some light stains that were left during the pre-treatment process. We're going to be using the eraser inside the shoe as well as the toe cap. Now guys, I'm going to grab our dry suede brush and lightly take out the debris. That's about it. Just got done resetting the suede on the shoes. Last step is to lace up these fresh kicks. We just got done lacing up the shoe. Now, let's bring in the dirty one. Bus driver, move that bus. The results speak for themselves, honestly. I got down on these. We were able to achieve these results using the Rejuvenator Signature Cleaning Kit, as well as other Rejuvenator products, such as our Rejuvenator Cleaning Mat, our Dry Rack Combo, and lastly, our Dry Suede Kit. All of these products are available on Rejuvenator.com. Don't forget, hit the link in the description to save 10%. That's a wrap, folks. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to drop a comment to potentially win some free products. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe. My name is Big Cleanos. It was a pleasure to clean sneakers for you guys on the big screen today. Hope to see you guys soon. Not the face though.